Hey Aries, I'm Witchy Tiff. I'm going to bring you a weekly reading for December the 21st to December the 27th. Merry Christmas to you guys. Um, I am doing free readings, free personal readings. If, if you want to be entered into the drawing, please comment below. And if I heart your comment, that means you're entered into the drawing. Make sure you're subscribed so if you win, you'll know that you won, okay? All right, Aries. So right now, you are I feel like you're dealing with two people, okay? If you're not, then your person is. So put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it however you want it to go, okay? But somebody, I feel like it's you, though, because I, you're on this side to me. If it's not, it's your person. Somebody's dealing with two people, okay? One person, they love a lot. And the other person, there's just no passion there anymore. And I think that's the one that you're in a relationship. You might just not have no passion, and, and you really want something else okay there's a lot of pride and ego here right now um and it's clouding your judgment all right you don't know if you should make this decision or what to do you definitely want success in the end okay and success will come because at the end of the day you know there's no greater goal than to love okay Right now, you might have some arguments in your actual relationship because there's a lot of ego between you and your person, okay? But your person, they know exactly that you're probably making a decision here. Like, they know that there's probably not much left in the relationship anymore, and they're realizing it. They, I don't think they know that you might have somebody else in mind now. But in the pre-shuffle, I definitely saw a lot of love and passion for one person and then a lot of negative energy for another person. But this person here is accepting the things that they cannot change, okay? Releasing control and just trusting the process. But this person loves you. They, they really want to be with you, okay? They definitely want to manifest a life together with you. Mutually, though, Somebody wants to to do something else. Somebody's like trying to surrender to the process, move forward, expand, grow. I feel like you're trying to, to, to do something else and your person is trying to figure out what you got going on because they're trying to expand their awareness, okay? But they've been trying to figure it out and since they can't, they're just kind of like surrendering and like, okay, then it is what it is. I accept challenges are the best way to learn. Um, it might be an issue to leave one person and go towards your real love. But let's see what the romance angels have for you, Aries, under pride. How is Aries feeling about their person for the romance angels? See, here we go again. Let go of control issues under ego. So somebody might be very controlling um, in this relationship. They might, your person might like try to watch you everywhere you go. And if it's the other way around, you might, you know, always try to figure out what your person's doing. But I think that's them. Under judgment, you deserve love. See, you're trying to make a decision because you don't feel the love in that relationship. And you want to go towards something that you truly, truly want. See, she's pointing her bow and arrow towards this success card. All right. So let's see. Under success, spirit, ancestors, guides for the Aries. For my Aries. For my Ram. <laughs> One card, spirit. Thank you. See, success. Give your relationship a chance. See, you, you're ready to make a decision to move towards something else and give another situation a chance that you know will be more successful. That you know that you will have happiness within. So what about Aries person? Under acceptance. Spirit. Ancestors. Guides. Under acceptance. Spirit. Thank you. Calling in your soulmate. See. They're learning. They're praying. Okay. That you guys belong together. Okay. They might just be accepting the fact that maybe you. <laughs> you are just not ready right now and they're like okay maybe he they got to do some learning before we can come together they're just trying to trust the process see they're gonna let but they let you know they love you very very much i trust that my if this comes under trust okay 
So they're going to trust that the love that they give you is enough to keep you around because they feel like you're definitely their person. Under abundance, what is their person trying to manifest here? See? Oh my gosh, trust. And they have trust over here. Spirit, come through. Thank you, spirit, ancestors, and guides. The situation is calling for you to have faith. See, they're just trusting the process. They're just hoping that the love and that they give you is enough to make you realize that, that they're your person, okay? Mutual energies under growth, spirit. Thank you. Healing family issues. Okay, so you might have kids with this person. Maybe not. Maybe you're dealing with some things in the family, you know, sickness, health. Um, but I feel like there might be something going on that's also causing within the family that's causing a stunt in, in growing here or moving on from one another. Let's see what we got under surrender spirit for mutual. Let's see. Let's see what we got, Spirit. True love. I can release my need to control. And then true love. So, mutually, so this person feels like you're their true love, okay? But you're feeling like you need to release, so that's why they're releasing control. And you're like, I need to release control and let go of this controlling situation and find my true love. Mm, mm, mm. that's a messy situation right there y'all that's a messy situation what y'all got going on keep an open mind so both of you guys are trying to keep an open mind they're trying to keep an open mind like hey i love this person and they're gonna choose they're gonna be with me and you're keeping an open mind like hey see because you see your soulmate may differ from your original expectations see they're thinking you're their soulmate and they're trying to keep an open mind, but that's not the fact. Their soulmate differs. And you're keeping an open mind because about moving on because you know that this ain't the soulmate, your soulmate. Your soulmate is somebody else. Woo, messy. Me oh, my gosh. Soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Spirit come through. See? You are trying to move towards your soulmate, okay? You're realizing, yes, this other person is my soulmate, man. What am I doing here with this person, men? <laughs> okay, this is a deck I'm coming out with in a couple of months. I'm trying to get the design right. These are energies, um, things that your person might want to say. Just, you know, you'll know how it resonates. So for the airy spirit, let's see. It's your choice. Oh my gosh, see? You're trying to make a decision. Like, it's your choice. Are you going to stay or are you going to go? I check your social media. I can't help it. So I feel like you're watching the other person. Now, the person you, your soulmate, the person you want to move towards, I feel like you're watching them on social media. Like, even though you're with this other person, you can't help but, like, look at this other person's picture, miss them. See, you make me weak. Man, you think about this other person, you're just, and you don't know why. You're like, I can't help it, man. I just, I. I love this person, man. So your person over here went broke trying to impress a thought. Okay, so, and I'm sorry. Okay, and if you're this person, that's cool. But maybe they invested a lot in you. And if it's the other way around, you invested a lot in them. Okay. And now they're realizing like, damn, I gave my all to somebody who's like just going to go on and, and be with somebody else. See, too many chances. They're over here like, wow, I've been here for you. I gave you chance after chance. Whenever you needed me, I came through. Someone needs an ego check. See, what did I say? There's a lot of pride on this airy side. Somebody is like very egotistical. They're, they, they're like, think they're the shit. And this person's like, man, man, I'm the one that's there for you. I done gave you chance after chance. You, you ain't the shit. I want to sleep with you in my arms forever. See, this person loves you, man. This person loves you a lot. I think they're, they they want to hold on to you. Like, it's like this person wants to hold on to you. They don't want to let you go. Mutual energy, spirit, ancestors, guides. I'm sorry, okay? 
So they're trying to be like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, if you feel like I've done anything wrong, if you think I'm insecure and crazy, I'm sorry. And you're over here like, I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> uh, see, you're trying to go towards your twin flame, your soulmate. Oh, shit. Mm. See? Now, now panic has set in, okay? <sighs> panic has set in mutually because they're panicking because they think that you're leaving them. They're, think they're, they're thinking they're losing you. And you're panicking because you're thinking you're going to lose this other person. One more mutual energy for the Aries. Your luck is changing though. See, this to me is like divine timing. It's like the Wheel of Fortune card. Divine timing is at work. And your your ancestors and spiritual guides are going to make sure this works out exactly how it's supposed to. See? They're going to bring peace to this situation. Let's see what the tarot guys though. Because you know how the whole story changes once it comes. <laughs> once they come out. Okay? I just... Got a king of pentacles. Somebody's focusing on their money. Focusing on their money. Okay. What is Aries feeling about their person in the present time? Oh my gosh. So you're definitely dealing with the karmic. I think you're in a relationship with the karmic. You're dealing with somebody that does not want to let go of you. At all. Whatsoever. Then you have the nine of pentacles. Then you have this single woman over here. Who I feel like is got her shit together, got money, she takes care of her business, she makes sure everybody's taken care of, she's a great mom. And gender doesn't matter, okay, because this could be a male, you know, he's single, he's abundant, he's got his own place, got his own car, he takes care of his kids, you know what I'm saying? And but they're completely single. They don't actually they don't have anybody. They're they're doing well financially, but they actually don't have no love, no nobody to actually be there, okay? It's an independent person. But then you have Aries, you have this other person here, this karmic person that doesn't want to let you go, and that's your first card. That's overall the issue here. Like you're like, uh, I cannot get away from this person. But you're like looking at then you have this other energy, this single abundant person that you're just like Let's see what the third card is, because then we'll know for sure, okay? Spirit, one more card, please, for the Aries. See? Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie, see? You got this person. They don't want to let go. Then you got this nice single person that you feel so much passion towards. And look at him. He just wants to set off, take a risk, and move towards this person. Okay? Like, no matter what. They want to start a beginning here. They want to take off and start something new with, th with this person. And get rid of this. Woo, Aries. What y'all got going, man? Always got some kind of something going. My kid's dad, I was with him for 14 years. <laughs> he's an Aries. Then my son, my 15-year-old. He's born on April Fool's Day. Aries. Can't tell. Crazy. Just crazy as can be. Okay, let's see. Let's see about your person. <laughs> let's see about your person. Let's see about this karmic person over here. Both of these came out crossways. Okay. All right. Now, this came out crossways, so it could be crossing the connection is, is that the happiness is fading. But I'm going to put it up right, okay? You make this person very, very happy, all right? Very, very happy. Um, but see, they feel like there's some big changes coming, all right? This is was crossways, so they might be impatient. They might feel like you're impulsive, okay? And they're probably just going with the flow right now, hoping that the sun comes back out in the relationship. One more card for this karmic or this person that Aries is dealing with. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse my language. See? Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay. So, we got two fours. Okay. So, this person is really just trying to enjoy the moment. Okay. <sighs> 
while they can. But then let's go on ahead and read this. We've got the Four of Cups. They kind of are realizing they're becoming aware. This is once again like accepting it for what it is. Okay. They're hoping that you choose them. They, they're hoping that, that you choose them as your happiness. Okay. They do not want this to end. They do not want this tower to fall. They do not want anything to come out. If you are doing something, ra you know, some ratchet shit behind their back, they, they don't, you know, they don't even want to act like they know because they do not want this ending with you. And then we have the four of pentacles in reverse. Okay. They're very possessive over you. This is once again somebody wanting to hold on to you. All right, Aries. Y'all have a way of doing that to people. <laughs> Mutual energy. <sighs> okay, we got the six of swords. There's a lot of emotional baggage here. A lot of unresolved issues. And somebody's trying to resist the change, okay? Somebody's trying to resist it because... Somebody was hoping for this Ten of Cups, all right? You both want a happy ending. Both of you guys want a happy ending. It just might be in two different directions, okay? It might not be the ending that they're suspecting, okay? But you want to go towards your happy ending. There's just some unresolved issues, a little bit of emotional baggage with this person, and that's why it's delaying it. Okay, for the next seven days for the Aries, this will be the week ahead. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. <gasps> Bam! The lovers. Ah! The heavens are singing. A decision is made. Somebody's going towards their soulmate. Hey. Yeah, a decision's going to be made. A lot of love. You'll make this choice. You're going to get rid of this karmic. <laughs> You're going to go towards this soulmate. Next seven days, Aries. Aw, see? Aw. You're going to get back to get. You're going to get with this person. Offer them love. There's going to be some happiness. You guys might get, go to a party together. Celebrate together. Oh, that's beautiful. If you know this person from this the past, if it's like a past person that you fell in love with, you're gonna reconcile with them and let them know that you want merit like you you want something stable. See, the temperance, whether it's in reverse or like this, I look at it the same way, okay? No, this is peace. This is balance. Oh, you're gonna have a great week, I feel like Aries. Three of Wands. But it was in the reverse. Don't get too excited. Yeah, you're looking out. Yeah, you want to move towards something else. But right now, there's still some obstacles in the way. Okay, and just completely making it um, exactly what you want it to be. Okay? Might frustrate you a little bit. This other person might frustrate you. Because I'm telling you, this other person does not want to let go of you. Period. Oh. What? <laughs> Well, I guess they're supposed to flip out. But I was going to show you at the bottom of the deck. Walking away. Finally making that decision to walk away with the judgment that fell out. A final decision is being made. You win. You're going to have victory here. You are going to make that decision to walk away. You will be leaving somebody out in the cold though, okay? Somebody will be left behind here. All right? But it was in the reverse, okay? So, so... Regardless of how that happens, you want to improve your own situation. So for Aries, this person, let's see. Three card spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, see. The hermit in reverse. They're going to be feeling very lonely. They might be trying to isolate they, their selves. They self. <laughs> their self. Because they, they, they don't want this ending. They want to stall out on this ending. They don't want to lose you, see. They're going to be thinking about the past, constantly have you on their mind, begging for you to come home, begging for you to reconcile, telling you that they can be there for you, that they can give you everything, that they can, you know, take care of you. Let's 
See, they're going to be trying to offer you like um, an abundant beginning. They're going to be like, please, we can start over. We can get passion again. You know? <sighs> but I don't think you're doing it. I think you love somebody else, man. No matter what they do, it's not going to change your mind. Let's see mutual energy for the Aries. Mm, thank you, spirit. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There's no more passion here. There's no inspiration here. There's not there's nothing to move forward. I think this person might not even feel the passion either, but they have such an ego. See, someone needs an ego check. Their pride is so much that they just don't want to let you go. They got too much pride. Like they know that there's no passion here, but they don't want to let you go. You got the page of wands in the reverse, okay? Somebody uh, you know, there might be, first off, there's border all the way around, but you might be, both be loud mouths, arguing, talking shit, both want to win at any cost, you know, just because there's nothing there. It's always a lot of bickering when you can't stand a person. Three of Pentacles in reverse. See, there's no teamwork here. There is no, there's a lot of conflict mutually. Fuckery, sneakery, thievery, okay? Some she, This person on this side that wants to keep you is trying to use tactic strategy to try to keep you. And you're sneaking around using deception because you don't want to be there, okay? You actually want to come here to a new beginning with somebody else. A stable beginning. But they don't want you to go towards this other beginning. They want another beginning with you. Woo, what a dramatic week ahead. Yeah, see? juggling 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 trying to figure out what to do aries but you're gonna bring some balance yeah see you're definitely gonna bring some balance you're gonna act on what you want you're gonna make the moves that you have to do and you're gonna give give to another situation okay yes yeah, one that brings your wish fulfillment what you truly want all right all right aries it's christmas week why you got all this going on so ask the universe a question that you want answered, focus in on the question, and I'll pull an ans angel answer, and then I'll read from the book for clarity, okay? And um, if it resonates, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. <laughs> Send that an energetic donation to me. Focus in on the question, Aries. Focus in on the question, Spirit, Ancestors, Guides. Please give me an accurate answer for the question that the Aries are focusing in on. You're ready. You are ready. Me automatically just off of my intuition is feeling like you are ready to finally make this decision to leave and make that move that you know that you need to make. But let's read from the book for clarity. All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be with. <laughs> I cannot make this up, bro. Spirit, come through. Are you serious right now? The world is anxious. Y'all got me floored. Okay, Aries. The world is anxiously awaiting the contributions that following your life purpose will provide. You may have to put yourself first in this situation. It's time to do what is right for you. Oh my gosh. So you got to put yourself first in this karmic situation and walk away and go towards who you know in your heart you are meant to be with. There's nothing else to be said. <laughs> I love you guys. Keep an eye out for the other videos. Subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Love you, Aries. Peace.